so hello coders welcome back to refresh coding and in the last video we have seen how to add a cluster in aws eks so now if you can see my cluster is up and running it is active so in this video what we will see how we can add a managed node group to this cluster and we can run our microservices in this managed node group so what you will do here first you will go in the compute section and here you will add a node group now you will give a node group node group name so let's say this is worker or you can give worker node or worker node group workers whatever you want to give uh, you can give so rather we will give workers only and uh, after that you will select here the role which is a amazon eks node role see if you don't have a node role you can go here in iam console and you can create this role we have already seen in the cluster how we can create a role so you can just go here follow the instructions and you can create this amazon eks node role after that you can select it from here so here after this you will not touch anything here let all the things be default only you will do next and here just uh, let it this ami type also let it be amazon linux 2 this only capacity type on demand and by default the instance type will be t3 medium and let it be this only because in node group we require at least this much of size and disk size also 20 gib that is fine after that node group scaling configuration please do not change anything here because the more number of nodes you will select here the more and more it will charge so be very careful let it be 222 only and after that uh, here also uh, put it to number and value 1 and after that just do next here automatic it will uh, it will select two public subnets which are there with your vpc do next and here you will not change anything just let everything be default and then create now again it will take some time to be created take some time means at least three four five minutes so we will wait till then so if you can see now our node group is created and it is coming in active status and you can see them here there is no health issue and if we'll go in nodes you can see them they are created and they are ready so that's it in this video in the next video we will see how we can connect to these nodes and how we can work with them and how we can deploy our microservices in these nodes thank you